How's it going and welcome back to another video. So today is the start of a series that you guys have been waiting for. I've had a ton of requests for the A6500 versus the A7R2. And today is the beginning. I didn't want to do it all as one video because I feel like it would have been 30 minutes long with the depth that I want to get into it. I get into some pretty specific details with my videos and I didn't want this to be any different. So I'm going to make it about two or three videos long so you guys get as much info as you would ever possibly want about these two cameras. And today is going to be the video test. So I've got 50 millimeter lenses on both cameras here which I did the crop sensor mode on the A7R2 but when I moved the a7R2 to full frame mode, I put a 35 millimeter lens so the focal lengths would match up a little better. I first did it with just the 50 millimeter lenses, but the crop factor made such a huge difference that you couldn't really tell the difference between the video quality. So I moved over to a 35 millimeter. It sh image quality shouldn't have made a difference with the lenses I used because I stopped everything down to f5.6 with all of this shooting, so the lenses should be performing at a very high level. So I'm not going to do any voiceover over the video comparisons. I'm just going to let you guys look at them and make your own call on that. But I am going to give kind of a wrap up at the end. So stick around for that. Okay, so there were a couple things worth noting there that I'm gonna go ahead and recap. First is the horrendous amount of noise that you get in low light with the A7R2. Significantly more on the A7R2 than there is the A6500. That's something you need to keep in mind, especially if you're planning on shooting in low light. So while you may be thinking that the whole full frame gives you better low light performance, that is not the case when it comes to video and these two cameras. You'd be better off going with the A6500 and cranking the ISO, because you can probably do double or triple the ISO and still end up with less noise than with the a7r2 next is the high frame rate mode the 120 frames a second the resolution for that on the a7r2 is 720p the a6500 is 1080p however there is not a huge difference between the two they look pretty similar because the 1080p on the a6500 is a little mushy the 4k the 4k on the a6500 is unbelievably razor sharp the a7r2 is just barely behind it in super 35 mode and just a little bit further behind it in full frame mode but 
All three options look really good. The A6500 is just nearly untouchable though. It looks phenomenal. The 1080p is a different story though. I thought that it looked better on the A7R2 in crop mode and in full frame mode, but I guess it is what it is. So which one should you get if you're looking for video? If you're shooting in daylight and you love the full frame depth of field, I'd go ahead and go with the full frame camera. You're gonna get great performance out of it and you're gonna have a unbelievable stills camera if you get the A7R2. If you're shooting in low light and you want the absolute best 4K video that I've personally seen, go with the A6500. You're gonna get less noise in low light. It's razor, absolutely razor sharp 4K video and you're not gonna be disappointed. If you're shooting in 1080p, it's kind of a different story. I haven't looked at many other 1080p cameras, but both of these kind of left me wanting something else because it doesn't do that great. I shoot almost exclusively in 4K, so I'm set and ready to go with both of these cameras. So hopefully you guys liked this video and it gave you all the information you needed to decide which one is better for you for video. I'm gonna do a couple more videos putting these two cameras head to head. So leave me a comment down below as to what you want to see in those and I'll do my best to include it in future videos. So if you like this one, give it a like, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.